And what's up my Sag? Welcome to BMHP Table Etiquette. Thank you guys for stopping by, tapping into my energy, seeing what's going on with BMHP. Either way, my beloveds, let's go ahead and tap into this energy, see what's going on with you and your energy, what beloved wants you to know at this time. Beloved, what's going on for the Sag? What do you want Sagittarius to know at this time, please? So you got the seven of wands, the world, the three of swords, the nine of pentacles, the world, the nine of swords, the magician, the knight of swords, the four of wands, the lovers, the four of swords, and the seven of cups my goodness Sag what's going on here within this um within this energy you know Sag for some reason you know people have put you on guard why do I feel like you cut cutting some people off in your life in your circle like um anybody that's not like dedicated or um or bring a negative energy negative drama i feel like you cut people off in the season i feel like um something recently transpired and happened where you you're realizing who your friends are who your family is who's there for you i feel like this energy of betrayal or some type of sneakiness like somebody came and um I don't know, portrayed a role with you that wasn't true, but I feel like you are putting an end to whoever these people are in your life, in your circle. Maybe you're finally getting the opportunity to see who your true friends are because whoever these people was, this could have been your person, this could have been um, friends, family members, whoever. I feel like whoever these people are, you are cutting their ass out because to a certain extent, you've tried and tried with whoever this is. And it's like you've had enough of the drama, enough of the pain, enough of the suffering in your life. I'm hearing that Mary J. Blythe song, no more pain, no more drama in my life. So it could have been um, somebody that was very close to you, I feel like, Sag. Um, why do I feel this energy of um, betrayal so heavy? It's like whoever this person was, you thought this person would never, ever, ever betray you, but they did. Like, I don't know if this was a person that was um, jealous of you or seeing you as competition, but I'm picking up this jealousy envy real heavy. This could even be like a third party karmic energy coming through the reading. Um, I feel like primarily because when they see you, they see how pretty you are, how beautiful you are inside and out or something like that. Like it's something about you just as an individual, as a person that makes this person so damn jealous and envious, okay? But um, I see I see that there is something that is stressing you out, something that really, really like caught you off guard. I don't know why I keep getting this caught off guard betrayal type energy, but it's like it's like, I don't know. I feel like beloved finally revealed it to you in some way. Something about picking up the pieces. There was something that happened as far as a betrayal and you feel like you either you have to pick up the pieces or you trying to pick up the pieces or something like that. But um, why do I feel like this is something and you got to forgive me for this Sagittarius, but this is something that you consistently invite back in your life. You know that this thing this person the situation is no good for you but you continuously like invite it back in your life somebody was having sex with your person 
I'm not sure if you know about this betrayal or you have an inkling or a feeling that someone was pursuing or engaging or flirting with or something like that, but somebody was trying to get at your person either in your face or behind your back. You know how you have them whole friends? Because I've had some whole friends, okay? But you have them whole friends that, um, you know, they do stuff in your face and you, you kind of take them back a little like... You wouldn't think they do that, but then you don't think they'll go as far as they do either. But I feel like whatever this betrayal was, was something that you were continuously being warned about or continuously like being act on about like, you know, flashing red lights, flashing yellow lights, flashing green lights. It was like all of these um, distinct distinctions of flashing energy, you know, once again, this is something this is something that that plagued you that you thought about a lot i don't know i i just don't understand why you didn't listen to your intuition in this situation um i'm not sure how you found it out but i'm not sure why you didn't listen to your intuition in this um situation whoever this person was i i feel like I feel like they did you dirty out of jealousy or envy because they feel like things always go your way. Okay. But either way, we have the will of fortune, the magician, the pleasure, um, perfect work, eggs of cups, great strength, the chariot, swiftness, abundance, illusionary success, shortened force, dominion, rest from strife and judgment. One, I keep... You cutting something or somebody off or, or something, something is changing. And it's kind of interesting how these cards kind of came out because you go from judgment to the will of fortune. You know what I mean? So I feel like, I feel like some things just come easy to you for whatever reason. When everybody else is stressing, it's like you in the background, you cool, calm, and collect, Sag. And um, this may be one of the, the things that people envy about you but i see that whatever you're trying to manifest with a person like you feel like this person might be your soulmate your twin flame something like that like i see you've been through a lot of shit with this person because you love them sag but it's like you have to love yourself enough to move on because i see that this person is constantly you constantly have the door open for this person and this person takes all of these opportunities for granted because they don't ever think that you're leaving they don't ever think you're gonna walk away they just think that you're always gonna be there and deal with their stuff it feels like energy of you being like confused not knowing how to move forward not knowing how to push forward but knowing you need to but I feel like what beloved is advising you is that the, you'll get the answer in your dreams the answer in your sleep of how to move forward past this individual past the situation past whatever it is that you're going through okay what else does Sagittarius need to know please regarding the situation this person Whatever's on their mind regarding this situation. What else does Sagittarius need to know, please? What else does Sagittarius need to know, please? What else does Sagittarius need to know? Why am I hearing that song? Before I let you go, before I let you go, can I get a kiss goodnight, baby? Absolutely not, Sag. Because it's part of the cycle. That just continues to play on and on and on and on. Absolutely not. You don't need to see this person. This person do not need to see you again. Okay. So month of the year, January. So you could be dealing with who's a, a January baby. Let me see. Um, a Capricorn or an Aquarius horseshoe the luck this is what they envy about you is that you have so much luck in your life here's december coming out so this could be you and your person with these december january energy or the winter time is going to be very significant or was very significant this can also be that other person i was telling you about that um maybe has has some type of um sex with your person and then scissors, disappointment in some affair. Hell yeah, you're disappointed. Someone's betrayed you. 
And then tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. This, I feel like that tiger is the energy of whoever this person was that betrayed you. And you know, karma's for us all. You know, it don't have to, their karma doesn't have its name on nobody, okay? But either way, Sash, that's the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.